Welcome, I'm Alok Zav, and in today's video I'm gonna talk about solar power, even though it just started raining. But it doesn't matter, we can actually craft a few devices to harvest the power of the sun and use it to power up your base. Unfortunately, we can only use solar power on a base, not on a ship, but all the devices you can craft on the small constructor. If you go to devices on placeable on bases, you'll find the solar panel small, the capacitor and the solar panel which is the normal one and is more efficient than the small one. So I want to unlock it on F3, go to base and you have to reach level 3 to be able to unlock the better solar panels. All of these three devices only take the basic resources, iron, silicon, copper, stone and logs. So I'm just going to craft 10 solar panels. And on the other one, since I have two constructors, I'm going to craft three capacitors. You can use up to 15 solar panels on a base, whichever they are, the small ones or the normal ones. And you can use up more than three capacitors, but I think it should be plenty for now. So my solar panels are done and my capacitors too. Before I place them in, let's take a look at the output of the base. I have a small generator and a small fuel tank and currently I'm outputting 2.5. I have this amount of fuel, zero solar output and zero battery. So now I just open up a little area here, I'm gonna use a drone and if you select the solar panels you have different options. If you right click you have these sloped ones, which have different slopes, and then you have these flat ones. And this is important because the position of the solar panel will help you get more outputs. And for that, I'm going to have to see where I am on the planet. So I'm going to open up the map on M. And I'm kind of close to the equator, so the sun will be mostly above my head. So the best possible... Uh, shape to use here will be these flat ones because the sun will come straight up above me so we can put them wherever we want against the base but we can do the same thing that i did before with the turrets i just point at the base press n connect the base and now i can place the solar panels that are not touching physically the base but they are connected to it so i'm gonna start putting them down here Let's just spread them around. I actually bought some blocks, but I didn't use them too much. So let's just put a few here. So I got six and let's put four more on this side. There you go. So I got my 10 solar panels in. These lights here will lit up when they're actually working. As you can see, none of them is lit up. There are no green lights, no yellow lights. Because the solar panels by themselves will not power the base, you need the capacitors. They're like batteries. They'll recharge when you're actually getting more energy than you need to use on the base. And they'll supply the base with power. So you kind of need them both. So let's take a look at the output again. I'm already getting some output. But the actual output on the base is still the same. I'm only getting power from the generator still. But once I put in the, the capacitors, it, it'll take a few seconds. But now, if I look at the output, yeah, it's still the same. It will take some time. Now the capacitor actually lit up. Now it's working. It provides me with an extra 5 KPU. So you can actually use them both. You can use the generator and you can use the capacitor. And as much capacitors as you add, you'll get 5 extra KPU. So now I'm up to 12. And if I add 3, I'm up to 17.5 KPU. You can see here that the batteries are charging. This is the total amount of the three capacitors which means I'm not consuming enough to actually use up everything that I'm producing. The average output is actually really good, almost for, for KPU. So, if you just ease the, the, the power, if you manage to fully recharge the batteries, you'll notice that your refuel will remain the same. 
so you don't have to remove the generator you can actually keep using it using the power electrical power from the capacitors and you can keep the fuel for an emergency let's say the enemy actually attacks your solar panels or something you kind of need fuel for the base so the generator starts using up the fuel from the fuel tank but that's a pretty way you need them both you need the capacitors and the solar panels and you also can keep the generators that you have and the fuel tanks for an emergency situation so that's a pretty uh, simple way as a reminder you should check where you are on the planet if you're on the north you should have the solar panels facing south if you're in the south you should have the face the solar panels facing north and you can keep up adding more capacitors in case you want more outputs so there you go solar panel on the base thank you for watching and until next time